Today we're talking about World War II, arguably one of the most self-destructive wars in history. Brought to you by Dave Wiley Productions. The war started in September 1939 when the Nazis invaded Poland. Britain and France entered into the war on September 3rd. And it was actually called the Phony War because they saw no military action from Germany. However, some historians believe that it started when Japan entered and invaded Manchuria, China. Some historians even believe the war started when Japan invaded China in 1937. In 1933, Adolf Hitler came to power, and this was the start of remilitarization in Germany. This eventually led them to war, as Hitler wanted a high-speed and armored warfare. Ooh, a fun fact! Did you know that the swastika was an ancient symbol of spiritual power? But the Nazis reversed it and its meaning and titled it to make a symbol of Nazi National Socialism. The more you know! The Allied powers for the war were France, Britain, and the United States and the Soviet Union. The Axis powers were Germany, Japan, and Italy. Further down the road of war, in 1941, the Nazis invaded Russia, which broke their non-aggression pact signed back in August of 1931. Shortly after this, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, the U.S. Navy base station in Oahu, Hawaii, which brought the United States into the war after being a neutral country. President Roosevelt made a speech after the attack in which the famous quote, the day that would live in infamy, came about. The next major battle was the Battle of Midway. This is where the United States defeated the Japanese Navy. This allowed the U.S. Navy to push the Japanese back. Did you know that British soldiers got a ration of three sheets of toilet paper per day, while Americans got 22? Talk about spoiled. Okay, on to more serious matters now. On June 6, 1944, the day known as D-Day arrived. On this day, the Allies launched an attack on German forces on the shore of Normandy, France. This was the beginning of the war for the Nazis. The upcoming December was a battle led by the Germans as a last-ditched effort to gain the lead in the war. While this battle had more than 80,000 American casualties, the Germans still failed, and in May of 1945, the Germans unconditionally surrendered. While this was the end of the war for the Germans, the war was not over for the United States. On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped its first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan, and the second bomb on Nagasaki on August 9, 1945. This led to Japan's surrender on August 14th, and on September 2nd of 1945, the United States General Douglas MacArthur accepted Japan's surrender, which formally ended the Second World War. Thanks for watching! This is brought to you by Ashton Kress, Kieran and Byerly, Caitlin Gray, and the David Wiley Productions.